Good afternoon. It has been a busy morning and afternoon, and I want to thank you for your patience. I will make some short comments about today's program of work. We started our day by adopting unanimously resolution 2400 regarding Darfur. The resolution extended the mandate of the panel of experts until the 12th of March 2019. We expressed as a council our intention to regularly review the measures on Darfur in light of the evolving situation on the ground. Following this adoption, we proceeded uh, to hear a briefing by Under Secretary General uh, Voronkov under the agenda item threats to international peace and security caused by terrorist attacks. The Under Secretary General presented the sixth report of the Secretary General on the threats posed by ISIL, Daesh, to international peace and security and the range of United Nations efforts in support of member states in countering the threat. There was overall support for the work of the Office of Counterterrorism. The need to enhance cooperation to combat terrorism, as well as expressing support for the first ever UN summit that the Secretary General will convene in June 2018 of heads of counterterrorism agencies. This was followed by consultations on terrorism and on uh, and the fight against Ash. I just wanted to highlight that Kuwait will be hosting the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to Defeat Daesh on the 13th of February this month. Kuwait will host uh, the International Conference for the Reconstruction of Iraq from the 12th to 14th of February in light of the liberation of many of Iraqi cities from this terrorist group. The International Reconstruction Conference is co-chaired by Kuwait, Iraq, and supported by the UN, the European Union, and the World Bank. Thank you. Mr. About Syria, um, can you say anything? What happened on the discussion on Syria? Are you going to release any, is there any product, any statement? You know, I'm not authorized to speak about the consultations we had. There is no, I'm not authorized to say anything. Pen holder. Yes. Uh, is is there any movement forward on the 30-day uh, ceasefire, pause, and fighting? You know, I will take on my uh, talk in my national capacity. We are a pen holder, as you said, with Sweden on the humanitarian uh, file on Syria. Uh, after uh, the discussions, we will, uh, you know, see what uh, the next step will take. But so far, there is nothing. We did not. Uh, ولكن راح يعني يعني كحاملي قلم مع السويد راح نتواصل ونتشاور مع بقية أعضاء المجلس لتحديد الخطوة القادمة. Mr. President, um, I, know, I know you're not authorized to answer questions on some of these subjects as the president. If I can ask you in your national capacity, we heard from the Russian ambassador earlier on. Apparently, some. Um, countries, including the Russians, raised the recent attack in the last few hours by the U.S. that, uh, that, that led to deaths among soldiers from the Syrian government. What is your own country's view of that, and also the claim from the Russian ambassador that the U.S. is in Syria illegally? طبعا انا ما ما سمعنا عن هالموضوع الا الان فبالتالي ما يعني ما ندري ما عندنا تفاصيل حقيقه هلا الموضوع ولا كان مطروح للنقاش في 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 الجلسه على فكره اه سوري وي didnt know about this incident we just heard about it so we don't know we, we, don't, we don't have a lot of details about it we don't uh, of the of the united states's presence because the russian ambassador said that they're illegally in syria what what is kuwait's view uh, there is no comments on this. The answer brief about the Maldives. About the Secretary General has expressed concern. There was no expression of concern by the Council. So, uh, sorry, I told. Sorry, I told you in the in my opening remarks that uh, I will not talk about anything 
uh, what happened in the consultation because I'm not authorized to speak about it as a president. Angie, you get your brief about Maldives. Will you confirm that? يونامي وكيفية إصلاح برنامج الأمم المتحدة في العراق يمكن تقول لنا على هذا الاجتماع على انطباعكم بعد تقرير اللجنة المكلفة في تقييم برنامج الأمم المتحدة في العراق أمس بالفعل عقدنا yesterday we we met as a security council member but the meeting was informal interactive dialogue it's informal meeting uh, and the discussions is still going on and we are still waiting to receive more information from the Secretary General about what he thinks about the recommendations submitted by the external uh, team. So it's too early to reflect on, on this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Just to confirm that the Maldives meeting took place.